Thanks for coming. Look. Or you don't need any of that to distract us. We can take our vintage Commodore t-shirt and put it over there. Turn off the monitor. Turn off the 64. Because that's nothing to do with what we're talking about today. Right here in front of me is a ZTEC Lieutenant Colonel hard drive. ZTEC was mostly known for, well, a lot of things, mostly printer interfaces. They made some good stuff. They were based in Florida. They did good things, including this, which was used an awful lot oh, by people who ran bullet boards and things. Now, I can't exactly test it today because over in another room, where I have lots of stuff, I know is the interface and the cable to go with this. So, they're not quite together. But what I can do, because I do have power here, is turn this on for the first time in 20, 30 years? I'm just not sure. Maybe not 30, maybe 25. Anyway, I do have a power cable plugged in. I have my finger upon the button for power. It's time, time, it's time. Well, I hear what sounds like a cooling fan, and the drive is flashing one, two, three, and then a bunch of little flashes. Hmm. I'm not sure. the drive itself is spinning. Let me just have a listen. My gut tells me what I'm hearing is the fan. There is this thing called stiction. And there are occasions when hard drives, especially if they've not been used for a while, even if they have been used for a while, just don't want to start spinning. <clears throat> and sometimes, indeed, giving them a little tap will cure this. I'm not going to really go out of my way to beat this thing up right now. I'm going to turn it back on. Andrew, I'm still not quite finished here. Just give me a moment here. Um, yeah. Well, no point in doing much else with this at the moment. But let me tell you a story. Yes, it's a Butterfield story. At one point, many, many years ago, many years ago, uh, Jim Butterfield and I, and I think perhaps my mother, Doris Bradley, ended up at this big Commodore show in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. And it may have been right around the time that the lieutenant colonel was first in, well, it wasn't for sale, but I think they were showing it, and it certainly looked very different than this. It was a big sort of rectangular thing. Anyway, well, we got into a little trouble at the border because the people from ZTEC, nice as they were, decided that Jim Butterfield should take a prototype home with him and test it out, let them know what he thought, and maybe he could write about it, let people know what he thought about it. But of course, when crossing the border, 
Um, not that they ever would have known, but anyway, he did go in and declare that he had this thing. And they got kind of excited. Not necessarily in a good way. Because, of course, here's this box that was kind of more looking like a 9090 90 or 9060, but not really. Just sort of the same general shape. And, of course, because it's a prototype, there is no company name. There is no logo. There is no serial number. So, they're not sure exactly what to do about this. Neither are we, but we want to get going. So, it was agreed upon that we could, as it was made by ZTech, that we could take, I don't think it was a nail, I don't think it was a pen, it was something different. We scratched X1 on the bottom, where it wouldn't show. But it was definitely like through the paint or whatever it was. And that that would be the serial number and they could record that serial number as X1 in case he was going back across the border to return it or to do anything at all that it indeed had been duly noted. And everybody seemed pleased with that. I don't know what the ZTech people thought about getting their precious prototype scratched up on the bottom, but it was pretty much that or abandon it at the border. And that was not an option. So, yes. I have many Jim Butterfield stories. That is just one of them. At some point, I'll share more. For the moment, turn this back on. Listen to the cooling fan, and not much else. At some point, I hope this is working. I hope. We'll see. But today is not that day. I must return to the basement, where I have more to do than can possibly be done. But yes, I will do it. So, stay tuned. Thank you very much for coming.